Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, we're gonna do some DIY armor for the bike. Stick around. Okay guys, so today is gonna be a little short video on how I DIY my own wrap for the bike. Obviously you can purchase this stuff online. There's various websites that make their own custom wrap. I think there is websites where you can make your own design, but we're gonna be working with this today. And this is a carbon fiber type of material. Obviously it's not real. It's just a vinyl decal that you slap on here and it provides some sort of protection. So it does have some on there. I didn't remove it because it, it's fine. I scrubbed it, it's not torn, you know. So we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that too much. But the down tube, it was pretty beat up, obviously from riding, rocks coming up at it. And we're gonna go ahead and redo that, and I'll show you how I do it. It's really easy. You can get creative on this, however much you want to put on there. I just put a very small amount on the bottom, right to where it's gonna meet this trek sign, and it should look good. All right, let's do this. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, this is the bottom side of the bike, as you guys can see. So I do run a tailgate uh, cover over my, my tailgate on my truck. And this, all this is actually from that. It rubbed it raw and yeah. So if you don't stay on top of it and you have wear spots like this, it will rub through the vinyl, regardless of what type of vinyl you buy or the sticker or the 3M tape or whatever and it will rub the paint off your frame. So I went ahead and dabbed it with some nail polish. This is the closest as I could get on this uh, color frame. I went to like a CVS and I went to, I don't know, a Target and I think this is where I got it. It's close enough. It's gonna get covered up anyways, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from down here, you can see where uh, I have, well, I don't know if you can see up here, but this is basically where we're gonna stop, where the cable comes back out for the shifter, and we're gonna stop right about here. We're gonna go ahead and make the ends look, you know, nice and neat. We're gonna round them off. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this covered up, ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and measure it first with my handy dandy tape measure here, and we're looking at around. We'll say 22 inches width. I'm only going from black to black, so we're going inch and a half. So 22 and an inch and a half. And we're going to go ahead and lay it down and that should cover it perfectly. It should meet black to black on uh, the letters. Let's say Trek here. So it should look pretty clean. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, this is what you're going to need to cut it out. So I have a straight edge here, obviously something to measure with something to write with. I got a Sharpie. Uh, I have a sharp knife, a new blade in it, obviously the vinyl, and some scissors. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this out, measure it out. All right, so we're gonna measure it out. Half. Easiest way to do this 
is I get the straight edge and then I cut it. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'll show it to you right now. So basically, you're gonna put the straight edge down, line it up with the mark you just made. Let's move over to the bike and measure it up. Okay guys, so all I did was cut the edges so that way they weren't flat and they had a little, you know, little spruce to them. But it, it, I guess it doesn't matter, it's personal preference. One thing I did forget to mention that you were gonna need is a clean rag and some alcohol to wipe it down. And that's what we're gonna do next. So, all right, so what I like to do is start one end, I stick it on here, and, okay, for reals, stick it on here, and then just kind of lay it down. So I, I do really, I really don't like working with this stuff, because it always takes me a little bit. But if you cleaned the surface well, uh, you don't really have to worry about it. it. It'll come on and off if you need to. So there we go. That looks good. Like I said, if you cleaned it real good, uh, then there's really nothing to worry about. It's gonna stick. If you have a frame that's really, you know, it's got some bends to it, what you can do is get a heat gun and then put some heat to it and it'll stretch out and then it'll let you go ahead and stick it down a little better. Like right here, it's just gotta rub it in and it's good. All right. There it is. Okay guys, well that's that for now. Super easy, really simple. Couple bucks online and you can put some armor on your bike. You can order different colors or clear if you so choose. There's also websites, like I said, you can go in there, order theirs. That's custom made for your frame, no cutting, none of that stuff. But this is the way I do it for now and it works. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And once again, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.